So again, here's the the shape right here. This is actually a, starts off as a rectangular shape, just extending the center line up to get the peak of this roof that represents this kind of a house shape. So again, going through the uh, space, try to find some space that you have and creating that triangular shape. So I'm just going to pick a point here and just a rough, rough sketch in this equilateral triangle just off the point so I can get a kind of general idea of where each direction is headed. And once I do that, I'm just going to take the uh, line, kind of give it a little bit of a line here because I know that's what I'm going to use, and just extend the piece down here and just give that a number so that I can keep track of which vanishing point is going where. Again, same with this one, kind of extend just that segment from here to here, but putting the point way down at the side. And I'll go ahead and put this in pen just so I can see it. And the last one, just putting the pencil there, lining up with the sketch. And here it's going off the page, up to here. So I'll just put that. So this is the fourth shape. So I just have three points that represent this, this piece. And again, just kind of finding a distance, it's going to be the, the end of this arbitrary piece right there. And just radiate each one from that vanishing point. I don't know where it's going to end, because it's going to get cut off by the next line. So it's coming down that direction. This, these two coming over here. Here I know where it stops right here. So it's again just kind of going through the motions of the three-point perspective cube. Right like that. And now here you're trying to determine where you're going to put the peak of the roof. You could put it from this section on this, this piece, could come up to this one, or even uh, along the side here. But to do that, you just have to find the diagonal line. So that'll help me locate the center to project it. So this face, I'll just line up the diagonals. I won't stretch it across, just a midpoint section from here, because I just need the point right there. I'm going to extend it down this way. Or I could extend it this way. I'll go from the long distance. Just line the center up to the vanishing point. And here I just need to establish a point. I'll put a light line just so you can see where it came from. And then just connecting these corners of the box to this new point for the roof. I'll take this one out here. And that gives me the peak of this roof, kind of a twisted section. And the only difficulty is you just have to find the ridge of the roof by projecting it to this vanishing point. And in order to get th this angle of the roof over to here, you have to do what they call a false vanishing point. It's at an angle. So the ridge of this peak of this roof, I'm just going to put right here and give it a false vanishing point number four, so just so I know what that is. And then just connect this last corner to this new vanishing point right there is going to be the end. So it cuts those. So very close to that one, but it gives me a close tangent line that I can carry off. And then just go ahead and connect these lines. Just give it the value of the pencil line, just kind of keeping it light enough that you can see it. Not too dark that I can't cover over that section. the linear perspective, and you can kind of see the distortion in there of that shape, and 
then again trying to take the linear part and creating it so that it has the shaded part. So you're going to lose the line based off of the tone that you put in there with the pen lines. And you can see it's kind of a twisted segment on that shape.